Lift your head from the dirt. Troy is gone. We are not Troy's queen anymore. Your luck has run out. Get used to it. Steer your sensible course. Trim yourself to the winds of change. And don't crush your brow head on against fortune's will. Chance holds my turner. Alas! Alas! Country! Children! The weight of this disaster pins into the ground. Legs and arms in the dust stretch out of my back, my spine. Oh, my spine twisting one way and another. Right by my constant weeping. Oh. But these are tunes of the wretched, the songs of our joyless wars. I'll be a little way from my home, a curse displaying a crown. My head deranged by grief. This is a very different song to the one I sang. Was it only yesterday? This is a very different song to the one I sang. in the south of Ukraine. Every week I'd see my friends, have some fun, we'd have tea, 
play badminton, jump in the river. And every spring I organize a festival. Artists and poetry, lots of people might come. Our Syrian national taekwondo champion. I was a businessman at the top of my career. I had organized an international fair called Global Village in Jordan. <clears throat> Over a million people came every year. I am um, Palestinian. From Yermukam in Damascus, which had grown into a city specifically for Palestinians, it was an angry city. Generations of fighting, fueled by drugs. But I read law in Damascus University. I had dreamed to being an actress. I had just finished drama school and started my career. I work at the American Embassy in Damascus, Syria. When the war started, I could not leave with my family because my father was very old man. I had become a famous artist. I established my own foundation to give opportunity for another girls and boys to learn about Afghan arts. But I don't know what I was like to live in peace. Afghanistan has always in war. And then the Russians invaded her son and everything just just disappeared. This is a very different song to the one I sang. Your tragedy can sing us out. When you reap a your misfortune, you might ask for a home. Oh, look, look. Princess Cassandra is running this way. Has she gone mad? Uh, who would blame her? She's been married to an enemy at a gunpoint. My mother dug my heart with a garland for I marry king. Сию тобі в очі, сію проти ночі, сію тобі в очі, сію проти ночі. Буде тобі вража так, як відьма скаже. The enemy will get what the witch promised. Буде тобі вража так, як відьма скаже. The enemy will get what the witch promised. Буде тобі вража так, як відьма скаже. The enemy will get what the witch promised. Скільки в святу землю впало заренжита, стільки разів буде тебе вража вбито. For every seed you destroy, a soldier will die. Скільки враже півень в ночі кукуріка, стільки днів у тебе доживати віка. Богові Боже, ворогу вороже, буде тобі враже так, як відьма скаже. The enemy will get what the witch promised. Скільки враже зробиш кроків по країні, стільки твого роду ляже в домовині. Як просію горе крізь дрібненьке сито, станеш ти про пекло Господа просити. Та не буде враже смерть твоя легкою. Навіть у смерті не знайдеш спокою. Слово моє лодке, слово моє кріпке, буде тобі вража так, як відьма скаже. The enemy will get. Маладу, ти лавра. Хоч сам кору спишу, люльку заколишу. Матір твою вража, без дітей залишу. Батька твого вража, смертю заспокою. Жінку твою вража, висушу ганьбою. Слово моє лодке. The enemy will get what the witch promised. Чина скаже. The enemy will get what the lover promised. 
Bude tebi vražnje, jer detina skaže. A the enemy will get what the child promised. Bude tebi vražnje. Tak, jak vidima skaže. The enemy will get what the witch promised. Union. Violence was all around us. State violence, teachers' violence, criminal violence, parents' violence. There was a lot of violence in my family. My family is very important and very religious, so I was exposed to violence since a very young age. I wanted to go out. I prayed to the moon as my God. When the first bomb dropped in my area, I didn't believe it. Though, I packed my essentials and continued my morning routine. My sister said, when I saw a Russian bomber plane exploding above our hut, I left. The violence, the war, it starts from a small seats. Domestic violence, your friends' violence. Your boss's violence, your husband's violence. I tried to escape. I flew half away around the world, but they sent men after me. I was locked in a hotel room, and the men turned out to be with a duct tape. Are you going to go, go quietly, or are you going to give us trouble? And that was. The first time I prayed, and I prayed to God, not to Lenin. The ear alarm was first in my life. I never saw the war. I just hear that it's getting closer and closer, and bombs getting louder and louder. My daughter arrived being from Damascus when the war began. I was working in Cairo. I could hear bombs. After I want a cat business woman of the year, men bring and threat me and kill me and kill my family. Then I talk I'm not safe anymore in Afghanistan. The Russians rocketed the shopping center in central Ukraine last week. My friends lived there, and it was like that she wasn't there. She must go there to, for a job, but she canceled it last minute. And it saved his, his, his life. And then explosions happened. We hid in the bomb shelter, which were locked in parking lots. I went home in a safe place with no glass or mirrors. We didn't know what to expect. Can we get a decent sleep? When the war started, government troops and ISIS started fighting in every street in Yermuk. Boom would move from street to street to get away from the fighting. All the houses were destroyed. There was a boy, about 14. He was shot in the bus stop, just next to his father. The Russians shot him, and he wasn't much younger than my son. Oh, 
You Greeks! You didn't enough when you kill all of us. That wasn't enough for you. When you sacked our city and you finished off our men. Are you still frightened of us? That you had to murder this baby. So brutal. All those little broken hands used to hold tight to my leg. Oh, your dear sweet mouth. All those kisses. All that love that I lavished on you. All those broken hearts. Oh, God. After that, I knew I had to leave. This is the final time I look for my parents' house. This is the final time. I had money put aside. I thought it would be okay. We would don't be there for long. Then the Lebanese government said that Palestinian refugees from Syria had to go back to Syria. The, the Egyptian government canceled my trade fair and I lost all my money. We had to leave Yermuk. 
Our house was destroyed by a rocket. Luckily, we were not home. My home was completely destroyed. Suddenly, the whole area was destroyed. Suddenly, no one returned my call anymore. After two years of war, my father died. Finally, I could take my family out. We went to Egypt. No houses. No people. No facilities. Yermuk had gone. <clears throat> and the months turned in the year. Assad is still in the Pala. The Daesh burst out of Iraq. There was no future for my children. And my money was running out. And, and the, the months turned, turned into years. years. I shall leave my fatherland. My city is being torched. All, all is scattered and gone. Much of Troy is no more. I found some people. They were leaving Kherson and they promised to take me and my children with them. A friend knew a smuggler who was helping people get to Turkey from Kurdistan. Arwa, listen, it's too dangerous, you might be killed. I have no choice. So I dealt with the smuggler and I have paid $1,500. I discovered the people left without me. They chose their luggage over us. And so I had to find someone else. So, I went back to Syria to say quick goodbye. But I couldn't. I don't know. I just needed some stuff. I had to go quickly. My mom was scared. I didn't hug her. For the final time, I, I look upon the house, house of the parents. For, for the, the final time. time. Jeff, last night I couldn't sleep all the night. I was thinking how I can leave my family. I was sitting on my table bed. All my sister was crying. And I love my sister as a best friend. They are my best friend. And I hugged my mom and we all cried and said goodbye. This is the last night with my family, I thought the last night I would sleep in my home. I love my bed. I found a lady. I'll help you. And she chose us over her luggage. At the seven o'clock, my dad is knocked the door. Are you asleep, Samira? I've come here to take you to the airport. It was so hard time. I was going in another business trip. But this time, I wasn't come back home again. For the, the final, final time, time, you look upon the house of, of your parents. parents. For the, the final, final time. time. I shall experience more hardship as I go. There were about seven of us in your car. As we drove along, we saw burnt cars with people inside. We walked, walked, walked for nine hours. I was thirsty. I could have drunk the deepest ocean. The sun scratches hot as hell. And the mountain was so steep, I couldn't press. I had no oxygen. It was in Kurdistan in August, 40 degrees. We had run out of water. So I had to film myself because I thought I'm gonna be dying. So someone would find my phone. I have lost my family. I have lost my home because of the culture, because of the government, because of my family. And for women, it's very dangerous. 
more dangerous. I lost it all because I wanted to be free. We can't get to London. I feel safe. The traffic goes the other way here. <laughs> I was so relieved. And I feel free. I was excited. Finally, my family is safe. Yes, we are safe, but I feel lost. Arriving here was stressful. Life continued here like nothing ever happened, which is true indeed. But it wasn't like that for us. It was unbelievable. Oh, I'm in London. Whoa. I feel safe, but very hot without our parents. I work at a restaurant, but I still dream that someday Martin Scorsese would come and discover me. <laughs> All my life, my property, my business is in Syria. But to the, re but to the regime, I am threatened to go back to Syria is suicide. It's, five, be, it's, it's been five years I, and I still work as a delivery driver in Scotland. At the, same, at the same point as you ask yourself, is safety enough? Oh, women of Troy, listen to me. I have something to say. It's better to die than to live in the misery. Sure that I had experienced the misery of life, yet the pain is gone. But us, living who had fallen from prosperity into the misery, we suffer a remitting heartache, what we have lost. My sister Polixena is dead. She is, as she'd never seen the light of the day. She knows nothing of this agony. 